For nearly 40 years, Abby Burgess and Kimberly Brown have been best friends. When Kimberly was in need of a kidney, Abby quickly stepped up. I just knew that I was going to be a match, number one, and that it was just going to happen and it was going to work. Abby Burgess met Kimberly Brown at school in California when they were 13 years old. They have been best friends ever since. She's part of the family. She's essentially a, a younger sister. Polycystic kidney disease runs in Kimberly's family. And after her mom got a kidney transplant, she found out she also had the disease and would eventually need a transplant as well. Abby said around a year ago, Kimberly only had 15% kidney function. In high school, I had made that like, oh, no worries. I will totally help out. I promise, you know, you can have one of mine. And then she calls about a year ago, you know, and says, hey, I just heard from from the nephrologist that it's time to start looking for a donor. And I thought, oh, there's that promise. Yeah, so it was a no brainer. On February 16th at UCLA, Kimberly underwent a kidney transplant with Abby by her side. Surgery was a success and the two friends are recovering well. She's actually a part of me now physically as well as spiritually and mentally. When Abby returned home from surgery, she was shocked to see neighbors and friends outside her Nampa house with signs and balloons cheering her on. To come home to the parade down my street was humbling. Just, you know, you don't think you deserve such amazing friends. Abby says she is overwhelmed by the support and kindness she and Kimberly have received from family, friends, and the community. There's just not words for the amount of gratitude that you feel, you know, for so much support. It's just, um, ugh. it's overwhelming a little bit. You know, it's, yeah, it's a little overwhelming for, for so much support and love. March is Kidney Awareness Month, and Abby encourages people to look into becoming an organ donor so they too can help someone in need. Live in the studio, Ariana Piper, CBS 2 News.